B. Benedict, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, leaves an indelible mark on the era with her remarkable contributions to film and television. For many, the recognition of Benedict's talent may vary. Perhaps it was a memorable character she portrayed or a distinct voice that resonated on the airwaves. What sets her apart from her contemporaries is not only her versatility, but also her ability to seamlessly transition between radio, film, and television, making her a standout performer of her time. In an era populated with formidable talents, B. Benedict distinguished herself through a rare combination of wit, charm, and a keen understanding of her craft. Her ability to breathe life into diverse characters, whether on the screen or through the airwaves, sets her apart as a versatile artist whose presence added depth to any production. As we reflect on the legacy of this classic Hollywood actor, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to B. Benedict in the comments below. What is it about her performances that left a lasting impression on you? Your stories add a valuable dimension to the appreciation of this iconic figure from yesteryears. In the illustrious tapestry of Hollywood's golden era, one name that resonates with timeless charm is B. Benedict. A luminary of both radio and television, Benedict carved a niche for herself that radiated talent and versatility. Hailing from New York City, Benedict's journey into the limelight began with her enchanting voice gracing the airwaves. In the radio realm, she showcased her vocal prowess on popular shows, such as the Jack Benny program and Fibber McGee and Molly. Yet, it was her transition to the small screen that truly etched her name into the annals of entertainment history. Notably, Bee's breakthrough came with her role as the indomitable Kate Bradley in the beloved sitcom Petticoat Junction. As the matriarch of the Bradley family, she endeared herself to audiences with her wit and warmth. What many might not know is that Benedict was a driving force behind the scenes as well, contributing her creative brilliance to the show's development. Beyond the bucolic charm of Hooterville, Bee's talents found a home in another iconic animated world. She lent her distinctive voice to the character of Betty Rubble in the animated classic The Flintstones. Through her voice acting, she breathed life into the delightful character, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of animated entertainment. Amidst her remarkable career, Benedict's ability to seamlessly traverse between live action and animation remains a testament to her unparalleled skill. She seamlessly blended humor with heart, endearing herself to audiences across generations. Yet, for all her achievements, it is Bee's genuine passion for her craft that truly set her apart. She approached each role with an authenticity that resonated with viewers, making her a beloved figure in the hearts of many. In the twilight of her career, Benedict's legacy persists, an enduring testament to her contributions to the world of entertainment. Her influence echoes in the laughter of sitcoms and the animated merriment that continues to captivate audiences worldwide. In retrospect, B. Benedict's journey was a symphony of talent, laughter, and an unwavering commitment to the art of storytelling. Her legacy endures not just as a celebrated actress, but as a trailblazer who paved the way for future generations in the ever-evolving landscape of show business. So, the next time you find yourself transported to the charm of a bygone era through the magic of television, remember the name B. Benedict, a woman whose talent knew no bounds and whose impact on the world of entertainment remains eternally resonant. B. Benedict, a versatile force in entertainment, seamlessly transitioned between radio and television, leaving an indelible mark on both mediums. Known for her iconic roles, she not only graced the airwaves on popular shows like The Jack Benny Program and Fibber McGee and Molly, but also became a household name on the small screen as Kate Bradley in Petticoat Junction. Beyond her on-screen talents, Benedict made significant contributions behind the scenes, playing a pivotal role in the development of Petticoat Junction. Her influence extended into the animated realm, where she lent her voice to Betty Rubble in The Flintstones, showcasing her versatility in entertainment. Amidst her achievements, Benedict's personal life held interesting facets. A surprising fact is her prowess and humor. She would amuse her cast members on the Jack Benny program by betting on announcer Don Wilson's lines. Despite her wholesome image, B could outcuss a Navy boatswain, adding a layer of complexity to her persona. Not widely known, B. Benedict was a mother to two children, daughter Maggie Bannon and son Jack Bannon, who followed in his mother's footsteps as an actor. In retrospect, B. Benedict's legacy is a symphony of talent, laughter, and commitment to storytelling. Her impact resonates in the entertainment landscape, transcending generations. In 1936, B. Benedict joined Orson Welles on radio's The Campbell Playhouse, 
marking the beginning of a remarkable career. Her big break came on Jack Benny's radio show, where she crafted memorable characters like Gertrude Gearshift. A staple in radio, she featured in comedies like The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, The Great Gildersleeve, and Fibber McGee and Molly. Notably, she was Lucille Ball's original choice for Ethel Mertz on I Love Lucy. Transitioning seamlessly between radio and television, Benedret became a household name as Kate Bradley in Petticoat Junction. Her influence extended to animated entertainment, voicing Betty Rubble in The Flintstones. Despite her wholesome image, she surprised her cast members with her humor, often betting on lines. In 1967, Benedret faced a setback with cancer, leading to her temporary departure from Petticoat Junction. Despite efforts to maintain the show, her absence was felt, and it lasted only two more seasons after her death. Beyond her professional achievements, Benedret was a mother to two children, with son Jack Bannon following in her acting footsteps. B. Benedret's legacy is a symphony of talent, laughter, and commitment to storytelling, resonating across generations in the entertainment landscape. Her impact endures a testament to a trailblazer who left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. B. Benedret, a prominent figure in entertainment, had a life marked by both professional success and personal challenges. Born to Samuel David Benedret, a Turkish-Jewish immigrant, and Margaret Oketh, she entered the world of acting and made a name for herself on both radio and television. Her first marriage to actor Jim Bannon resulted in two children, Jack and Maggie. The family dynamics took a turn when Benedret faced a setback in 1967, battling cancer and temporarily stepping away from her role in Petticoat Junction. In an unexpected turn of events, her second husband, Jean Toombley, a sound effects technician with whom she had collaborated on the Jack Benny program, tragically passed away just four days after her demise. Toombley, at the age of 54, succumbed to a massive heart attack and was laid to rest beside B. Benedict on October 17, a day after her funeral. This sequence of events adds a poignant layer to B. Benedict's life story, showcasing not only her professional accomplishments, but also the personal trials she faced. As we reflect on her legacy, it becomes evident that B. Benedert's life was a tapestry woven with both triumphs and tribulations leaving an enduring impact on the entertainment industry. As we bid adieu to this nostalgic journey through the tapestry of entertainment, one cannot help but marvel at the enduring brilliance of the luminary we've been celebrating. The indelible mark left by this cinematic sorceress reverberates through time, echoing in the hearts of those who have witnessed her artistry. As the curtains fall, we invite you, dear reader, to step into the spotlight of introspection. Reflect on the subtle cadence of her voice, the theatrical dance of her expressions that painted stories on the canvas of our memories. How has her presence, like a silent companion, shaped your cinematic odyssey? Take a moment to sift through the sands of time and unearth the gems of recollections tethered to her performances. In this communal voyage down memory lane, we encourage you to share the treasures you've discovered unearth the anecdotes, unveil the sentiments, and let the discourse flow. What is it about her craft that resonates with the chords of your soul? Perhaps a character etched in the annals of your personal nostalgia, or a timeless line that lingers in the echoes of your mind. As we traverse the landscapes of reminiscence, let us pay homage to the captivating allure of actress B. Benedict. Her contributions have been the building blocks of our shared cultural tapestry, weaving tales that transcend the boundaries of time and space. In this mosaic of emotions, your thoughts become the brushstrokes, adding hues to the portrait of her legacy. For every sentiment shared, for every memory kindled, we extend our gratitude. Thank you for embarking on this introspective expedition with us, unraveling the layers of connection that bind us to the enchanting world of actress B. Benedict. Your presence, your musings, are the threads that weave the fabric of this collective tribute. May the echoes of her performances continue to reverberate in the corridors of our hearts, a timeless symphony that transcends generations. Until our paths of reflection cross again, revel in the cinematic treasures that linger in your thoughts.